Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mike. If you didn't know so already, oh, that was a little too fast. Okay, let's start that one more time. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mikey Lugo. If you didn't know so already, um, y'all are back here. And if you're new, well, I'm Mikey Lugo. That's kind of a weird intro. I don't know. It's late at night. It's like 10 something. I don't know. But, uh, today we're gonna be doing a video that I've never done on this channel before. Uh, I'm gonna be trying to follow a recipe. Uh, and as you could have already read in the title of this video, we're gonna do, be doing like a pineapple upside down, I don't know what. I have some of the ingredients right here. I'm gonna go over what I have right now. I have maraschino cherries, light brown sugar, a yellow cake thing, it's great value because um, we're not trying to go that expensive, that wild. And then we have uh, pineapple slices because that's, that's what it calls for in the video. This, oh shoot, okay. <laughs> Things going everywhere. This is 20 ounces uh, or equivalent to one pound, four ounces. This is 16.5 ounces just in case you are trying to look at, um, trying to find what I got. I got instant pudding, not stovetop. Um, this is 3.4 ounces. And without further ado, let's get into the kitchen. Yeah. Let's go. Okay, guys, so now we're in the kitchen. We're, all, we're at the kitchen table. I have all the things right here. So right now, the video that I have on, it's right here on my laptop. Uh, I don't think y'all can see my laptop. But what she's done so far, she didn't show in the video. Uh, she got the butter into the bunt cake thingy because it's a pineapple upside down bunt cake. But, uh, I'm not a professional cook. Um, can I cook? I think so. I believe so. Will you guys like my cooking? I don't know. And for all you chefs that are kind of watching this video, <laughs> I'm sorry. I only took, like, two classes of cooking in, in school, so. If you're not subscribed, please do so before this video ends. Subscribe right, to this um, girl, y'all, if y'all like her video. Oh, she okay, also let's sprayed finish it. the topping for this cake. That is half a cup of brown sugar. So she's taking half a cup of brown sugar. Brown sugar is <laughs> right here. Uh, I couldn't find the um, half a cup measuring cup, so I have the cup. What did I learn? I think I learned that you have to pack the brown sugar in here. So she's using half a cup. I'm a eyeball in here. Because she said that she saw this recipe on, on Facebook. Something, 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 something. And I'm just trying to... I'm trying to follow her recipe, so... I sprinkled a little bit extra in there, but if y'all didn't know, um, half a cup, half a stick of, well, a stick of butter is half a cup of, um, it's, it's the measure, the, what did I say? 
right, the equivalency of half a, um, of a full stick of, bu of butter is half a, half of a cup, so, yeah. The more you know. So, as you can see, that looks like... She didn't mix them around like I did, but I did because I was like, you know, yeah. Hi, this is a can of pineapple slices. Yes, pineapple Here's slices pineapple is slices. best because it makes it really pretty. Reserve the juice. Whoa, well, we were supposed to reserve the juice. I didn't do... Okay, uh, it's still in here. This is an easier thing. I thought I was going to need this can opener, but <laughs> I think not. Uh, I gotta go get a cup. Give me a second. She said to reserve the juice, so that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so after you got all the juice to sit to the side, because <laughs> you never know what she's gonna use it for. So, I'm gonna remove this. Y'all be careful with this, because this is very, very dangerous, children. So what is she doing here? So she's cutting them in half right now. Cut them all in half and then give them like I did. Alright, that's um, those are baking cherries, but you're supposed to use maraschino cherries from the jar. I didn't have that and I just I want Okay girl, give me a second. You you're going too fast. So I'ma save these in there because she didn't use all of them. So I'm just cutting them in half and what she's doing, she's cutting them like this. And what she's doing, she's laying them down into the pan like that so she's like laying them like this face down okay and if you don't like Stuff that tastes fruity, don't make it. Because I don't want to be responsible for you guys being like, oh, well, I didn't know that it was going to be fruity. It's pineapple. Come on. And my hands are clean, so. I'm trying to bunch them all together, you know. I shouldn't have done that, but... Oogie. I did it and it doesn't look the best but it doesn't look the worst but then again it is just for like um presentation wise <sighs> I need an apple so anyways after she does that let's see what she does next Reserve 
Okay, so what she's doing is she's like making the egg mix, the cake mixture. I'm trying not to spill any eggs. Um, Mostly what she did, she added like all the pineapple juice into the eggs. So I'm a little confused. I don't know if she's using that instead of like um, water. So I guess all of it bottoms up. She said a third a cup of milk and a third a cup of, well I guess I would use a third of a cup of um, milk, but I can't have milk so I'm going to use water instead. She added oil so let me go get the oil. So I'm going to add the water right now. I'm just going to eyeball this. Oh yeah, so the reason why I can't have milk is because I'm lactose intolerant. Um, but yeah, I can only have almond milk and I don't think almond milk would go well in this. Cheese, canola oil, canola oil. I'm using um, corn oil, but you can use, I guess, vegetable oil. Whatever type of oil you need. Oh yeah, and so I think she went with um, a third cup of water because we did add a third cup of well, third cup of milk or water because we did add a third cup well, pineapple juice. So then she's adding her cake mix. I'm using yellow cake mix, so is she. But I guess you can use white cake mix or anything else. Uh, but yeah. gonna go ahead and pour all of that in there. No regrets. So I'm j I just put in the cake mix right now. That's the same as she did. She's adding in the freaking vanilla mix. Uh, she's going too fast. I don't know why she's adding in the vanilla mix though. That's confusing. But <laughs> I guess it's a trial or error kind of recipe, and I'll let you know. Minutes, 
gonna go ahead and dump this in there and then I'm gonna put it in the oven for 45 minutes like she did because <laughs> this is what we need to do supposedly but I guess all ovens are different like she said and we'll just find out um, so just stick a knife in it or like a toothpick and it, when it comes out clean then it's ready but let me go ahead and dump all this in there At this point, it's when I'm taking out the cake out of the oven, and uh, my cake took approximately like an hour and ten minutes, but it just varies on every oven, and here's the final result. Um, yeah, there's really nothing else to say, so yeah. Mm -hmm.